X36 is a med ball and bands workout with three main goals. We're gonna master the basics of med ball and resistance band training. They go so well together because they're awesome for longevity and stamina endurance will be tested to the max today. You'll be done in 20 minutes as always, but before I get into that, we gotta go through the movements. 60, 60, 60 band core complex, three core moves a minute each. And the hardest one is first, especially the setup of it, but all three. I need a low anchor point that is stable and sturdy. And what I'm gonna do here is start in the hollow body position, the hollow fly. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I can start tucked and one hand is here, all right? And I'm lifting off the ground there. See, it wants to pull me, right? So anti-rotation, I gotta lock myself down. So yes, it's gonna work your chest and the fly portion, but it's really working your anti-rotation ability, keeping that low back flat off the floor and the shoulders off the ground. Make it harder by getting into that, Inhale, back, exhale forward. The extended position is obviously the toughest. So we hit that out of the gate. This band will not leave your hand until you switch sides, okay? From there, I just am gonna turn over, keeping it here, and by the way, on the more of the pulls versus the fly, I can secure it here, and then if I need to, I can also wrap more so that I get more tension, or if I have a space issue, I get the band smaller or shorter so I'm not bumping into shit. So here we go, I get blocked in, and I'm Exhale, row, inhale back. Exhale out, inhale back. All right, we've done these last two moves before, but we've never done them in this particular sequence before. And then I go into my front plank pull down. All right, and again, you can see the band's a little bit loose. I can do an extra grab here. Exhale, inhale back. Keep the hips and shoulders square to the ground. The next set, I will just switch sides. So lots of abs here, and we're adding these really key pillar or plank positions, these foundational positions, adding movement around it makes it dynamic stability, which is my favorite way to train the core for not only longevity, but bulletproofing that back. All right, palm this ball, 60, 60, 60 med ball core complex. Hardest move first is the crunch, or as I call it, the serratus crunch, because we're working right along those ribs here. It protracts or pushes away your scapula, combining with the crunch. So here we go, I'm gonna exhale it up while balancing that ball, that palm fashion. Bring it down, inhale. Small range of motion. Don't just crunch those abs it's like crazy, but push up as far as you can and bring it down. So much shoulder stability there. Now from there, minute two, bridge up, and I'm gonna do presses here. The shoulder's already smoked. All right, so much balance and stability for that shoulder joint. Now I can make it harder by lifting tucking the opposite knee to my chest in that bridge. If you wanna increase the challenge. And then I'm gonna finish in both complexes. So you'll switch rounds the next time and do the other side, but you'll be finishing third and final movement. It's a, you know, both arms are involved here with the Russian twist. So legs at 90 degrees, toes to the shin. The more you lean back, the greater the challenge from a core stabilization standpoint. I'm just gonna twist across the body moving at the upper back, not the lower back, really testing the obliques. And you can basically exhale to middle, inhale right there. You can inhale back to the middle. And then exhale across. Don't focus on speed, focus on range of motion. It's gonna light up those abs in a real way. You'll switch sides, then go left, left, and then back to two in that third and final movement. Med ball core complex, baby. Let's light those abs up today. Full body flow with a single band, okay? The hardest move is first. So use a band that allows you to execute that. You use that same band the rest of the way. 30 seconds each of these six movements. We're gonna do an overhead split squat. So put the band, step onto it in the middle of the foot there. I'm gonna pull it up to shoulder level and then press up and out and spread that. So we'll just hit a split squat here. We'll do the one side, then switch for the first minute there, 30 seconds each. Keeping it locked out, shoulders down and back. You're gonna inhale down and control. <sighs> Exhale up. Switching sides, you just step in basically and then come right through, all right? After you hit those first two, I'm gonna step the other foot in, go right into my curl, all the way up to shoulder level. <sighs> Exhale up, inhale down. Hit those babies up. Gives you a little bit, a bit of a break from the overhead position, but then you go right back to it with the press. Again, don't just push up, push out. Make space for that scapula, 
Feels really nice in the shoulders. Exhale up, inhale down. From there, now we're gonna go high pull up. I have to kind of widen out the feet a bit so that there's tension from the start. Do so, okay? I'm gonna grab it like this, right at kind of that hang position. Bends ankles, knees, and hips, and then pull it straight at the body. Exhale it up. And I can also not just pull up, but try to pull out as well. Finishing with the swing, all right? This one, you might have to widen out even more. We'll grab it like this, and then I'm exhaling out. I'm not gonna hold it there, but you're, you're going right to shoulder level here. So exhale up, inhale down. It's a much easier swing on your lower back than with a bell, because again, there's no dead weight. Very little resistance right here where it can get tricky on the spine, but it maximizes resistance as you get into that full extension, as you power through that movement. It also accelerates you down faster. So we're training deceleration to awesome flow, full body in nature. And this workout, by the way, this could be a workout you take with you when you travel. You just do multiple rounds of it, uh, you know, and just make it a full workout. But it's a workout within a workout in this workout. Full body med ball flow, ground to stand, focused, 30 seconds each for each of the following six positions. We're gonna start with the push-up climber. Now we're going with this kind of crush grip. I'm gonna inhale down, and then I'm gonna smoothly exhale up, and I'm gonna do climbers until my exhale completely empties out and dissipates. Then I'm gonna repeat that pattern. It looks like this. And I keep going in that fashion. Now, a lot of instability here, obviously closer grip, also really challenge your triceps and shoulders more. Uh, if it's too hard to do the push-up component, just do continuous climbs and go with kind of a four, four rhythmic breathing. So four leg exchanges, inhale, four leg exchanges, exhale. But if you can do it like I just showed previously, do that. From there, we go right into the burpee. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna exhale up, inhale it out, add the push-up if I can. Exhale up, inhale down. All right, third movement is the chop. It doesn't matter which direction you are, you're gonna do both sides. Pivot the feet, rotate the hips. And then I will switch sides. Notice how belly button is always forward, all right? Then we go into ground, uh, dead lift to snatch. Keep the weight tight to the body. Inhale it down, exhale it up. Go fast if you can at this point. Finishing with knee strikes. Now I can keep my hands in the ball. I could also add motion, exhale up. Or I kind of let the ball go a little bit airborne. Great finishing drill now. If it's a rubber ball and you can't strike it, Ball, this is the ball we use all year. You can also just modify by not hitting it all the way and just getting it kind of more direct contact versus pounding it or <sighs> modify with a slam. But again, I love this one as a finisher. Your heart rate's already going crazy. I'm just combining our kind of marching drills here. <sighs> or if you don't want to go airborne, you can even kind of use the arms to pull down into the strikes. Yes! You want to be toast. Burnt toast. Tough workout, two of my favorite tools that really collectively kind of round out a month of training. You know, these angles, lateral, rotational, tough to access with dead weight. Certainly can do it with body weight, but these tools allow you to get complete athletic development, but they're also very easy on the joints, okay? You want to be lean, you want to be athletic, you want to do this for a long time, this workout will help with that. Make your post-workout report in the comment section below. You're done in 20 minutes. Push the pace. And remember, it's a long race. Go.
halfway. Rest. Halfway.
rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go.
halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway.
rest. Go. Halfway. Rest.